I'm Donna Moore and this is how to build some stronger shoulders. In Strongman, most of the events are overhead pressing, so straight overhead. But to be able to press big loads overhead, we need to work on all aspects of pressing. So here today, we're gonna to be using some dumbbells, barbell, seated, push press, push jerk, all the variations of those kind of movements. The shoulder's got lots of different muscle groups to it. So we're going to have a look at some of the accessory movements to build stronger shoulders to be able to push more weight overhead, but ultimately keep them a bit more healthy as well. Um, again, with um, pressing overhead, a lot of it's also to do with like core stability. So we're going to do some seated presses that mean that you have to lock on your core to be able to stabilize the dumbbells. This is the same with like overhead marches and unstable loads. So again, this uses, utilizes all the small muscles within your shoulders to be able to keep the loads above your head. So just there, we've performed a military press, a push press, and then a push jerk. Some of the top tips I like to think about when pressing overhead, although we're focusing on shoulder power today, is actually having a really stable base so that your feet are rooted to the floor to create stability up your body into a nice, really tight rack position. So the one of the most common mistakes I see is people's like elbows dropping when they go to press. So you want to try and keep your rack position as tight as possible and move straight from here, whether you're military pressing, push pressing, or push jerking. Your elbows always stay in the tight rack position. This is the same as if you're gonna be doing a log as well. Because I spend a lot of my time pressing on a barbell with my grip this way, I like to do a lot of my dumbbell work as if I'm emulating pressing a log because I'm obviously doing strongman. So I like to turn the dumbbells around this way to work on that grip. I also find it much more comfortable personally for my shoulders to have um, a neutral kind of a grip. So I work all the presses there that you've seen and I use this particular setup a lot to warm up for log. Again, it's working on their arms working together, although they're individually loaded to be locked out at the same time. It really shows like a lot of weaknesses if you individually load each arm. So it might be something that you haven't been aware of if you're only using a barbell all the time. With shoulders, it's important to look after the health of them. When they get upset, they get upset for quite a long time and badly. So um, some of the exercises that we've just shown you there incorporate like the smaller muscle groups. It's like a seated external rotation with the dumbbell with your arm um, on your knee that works into this muscle in the front of here to keep your shoulder joints healthy and also lying on the floor um, they were not weighted um, Y Y W T's so um, each letter is like one one set and hold each rep for around like two to two to three seconds the most important factor of this is to keep the back muscles at the top here engaged the whole time. Really squeeze, think about squeezing your shoulder blades uh, together um, throughout the entire range of movement. Another variation of the press that I like to work is a seated press. It kind of mitigates any leg drive that you might be using when you're doing an actual military press. Today, there was a, a back support on that uh, bench that I was using, but you can do that on a regular bench with no back support to make it even harder and um, using more core stability. Another variation that we did there was a pin press, so that works out different ranges of motion within the press. So higher up the motion, it mitigates anything that you've got power from down here. You're literally pushing from in between like your nose to your eyes, and that's like pushing out through the lockout to keep the lockout nice and strong. And also for overhead um, stability, also core stability, it's a great crossover into strongman where you're having to carry loads above your head like um, logs that are unstable, axles, barbell overhead, march. So thinking here about keeping tight all the time, all the way down from your feet, right the way through to um, your hands in the lockout, stacking up all the muscles in your whole body to keep that tight and under control works all of the stabilizing muscles. You can also do this if you've got space by actually walking along in a slow motion. So it's kind of like time under tension rather than a heavy load. Um, so these were my some of my favorite um, shoulder 
exercises. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below.